Well, today's the update. It's been six weeks since I had the distal bicep tear. Here's how it looks today after six weeks. Now, the reason why I'm making the video today is because today was my second post-op video. I seen the doctor today. And uh, he was actually surprised when he saw me because he said because of my frayed tendon, he expected this to be a little higher. He was afraid it wouldn't take as well and it might have creeped up a little bit on me. So he was just pretty happy to see how far it's down. He actually said, you're very lucky, he said, because he didn't expect it to be that well. He went over here, he touched around this, and he's like, yeah, it's there, it's, it's feeling pretty good. As far as this lump goes, he said in time, that's gonna heal up. As of now, I tore my bicep uh, April 6th, that was seven weeks ago, and I haven't done anything with this arm, I haven't picked up anything more than the cell phone. About a week ago, so say week five after surgery, because this is week six, I started brushing my teeth with my right arm. I started using it to dry my hair, trying to do things like moving it around as long as I'm not uh, doing anything that would cause like any, anything heavier than a cell phone. So I kept it real light. Like I carried my cooler to work, trying to think in my mind, like don't be grabbing it with my right arm because I don't want to tear. I always make sure everything I do is with my left. As far as the size difference, this is how they look. Not too bad, you know, for not doing anything. I've been working out with this one the whole time. I've never stopped. My weight has actually gone up. I was very, very lean when I turned my bicep. I was 234 pounds. Uh, this morning I was 250. I mean, I've been training my legs a lot harder, trying to build up my legs. I probably put a little size on there. Upper body, I've only I've been training, but like you know, it's hard to do. Like I'll go up like 75 pounds for one arm bench presses or shoulder presses. I do the stuff with my one arm and, you know, lat pull downs, all those things, but just not the same as using both, right? I can tell like, my shoulder got a little smaller, my tricep got a little smaller, but overall, I'm pretty happy how it looks after seven weeks. Uh, the good news today was he said, today, I'm allowed to start using this arm a little more. So he said, I can pick up things heavier than a phone. I can pick up a coffee cup now, or I can, uh, open a car door now, he says. I can turn a door handle and pull it towards me. But he still doesn't want me to do anything really more strenuous than that. He said as far as lifting weights goes, he does not want me lifting anything with my bicep. He says he can tell I know a lot about working out, so he's gonna allow me to do things that don't interfere with my bicep. Like I can squeeze the hand grippers. Uh, I can put something around my elbow here and I can do rear delts or side delts, as long as my bicep is not engaged. He said I can go light on my triceps. But as far as going all the way down, you can see how I can straighten this one like this. This is as far as I can straighten, so it's almost all the way straight, but I can't straighten it all the way. But I think now when I start doing some tricep kickbacks, stuff like that, little push downs, it'll help stretch this out a little bit. So that's kind of how I'm gonna do now. As far as like, if I wasn't really into working out at this point in time, it's only been six weeks after surgery, but it really just doesn't bother me much. It's a little bit tight. Uh, it's a bummer I can't lift weights, but if I was just a guy who liked to watch TV and drink beer and that's all I cared about at this point in time, I don't think my bicep would be that big of a deal. But I'm not that kind of a guy. I can't wait to uh, start training again. They want me to see the doctor again in six weeks. That'll be 12 weeks after surgery. But the appointment date I have is July 15th. So I, I think it would be like a couple of days after uh, 12 weeks. So probably 12 weeks and three days. Like I said in the other videos, eight weeks takes for a bone to heal. Your tendon takes 12 weeks to heal. So I think at the 12 week mark is when he's gonna say, okay, you can start engaging your bicep now. And start going, I said, can I flex it? He says, you can, but don't go real hard. So like, this is my massive flex now, right there. There we go, you know, my left, my right. I really can't flex hard, but I can, you know, a little bit. But at 12 weeks, I'm sure he's gonna give me the go ahead on, on about the bicep. I'll be able to, I'll be able to start lifting. Um, then I can't wait to see how much bigger. That being said, it's kind of fun. Let's go see what it says measuring tape right now. How big my arm is, as far as uh, if I flex it the way it is today. For fun, let's do a bicep flex.
Now I can't really flex it hard. But if I go around, you see right there, almost a little harder, a little flex a little more. Almost about 17 and a half inches. Not very impressive. Let's do a forearm straight out. Almost 15 and around around in a flex position. Let me see what it says in the mirror. Right around 17. So we'll see when I'm allowed to train again, how much I can improve these measurements. This is the first time tuning into my channel. If you want to see what happened, I'm a professional arm wrestler, and you can see from trophies and stuff around here. Uh, I, I tore my bicep April 6th at a national championship. If you go on my YouTube page, you can look at the shorts, and there's a beautiful video there of me in a losing position and my bicep coming up towards my shoulder, and you can even hear the snapping noise in case you're curious to see how it happened uh, what it looks like when a bicep tears. So these are my updates now. Um, like I said, if anybody is going through this, I think it's good that I stayed positive. I kept working out. You can see I'm still lean. I still have my abs, right? For I haven't gave up. My, my legs are bigger than they used to be. Training my calves real hard. As far as my weight goes, right now, currently, there's 250, let's touch it a little bit. 252, but of course I got my shoes on and some clothes, so you know, probably more like 247, which is about where I'm staying. But you know, still staying lean. Like I said in the first video, my goal was not to lose muscle throughout my whole body, right? I didn't want to like, oh wow, I hurt my biceps, so I'm just gonna give up and let my whole body go downhill. I actually put on some size, right? I'm about 15 pounds heavier. I'm still very lean. I'm pretty happy. As soon as it gives me the okay to train with this right arm, I got a feeling it's gonna pass this one up in no time. So uh, this one's probably shrank a little bit too. I'm not pumped, right? I'm not pumped up at all. But we'll see how the left is. Not pumped at all. The left arm is a little bit over 19, about 19. And my left forearm, straight out, not flexed. It's 15 and a half, almost oh, 15 and a quarter. And if I put it in a flex position, yeah, right there. 18. What are my goals? Well, I would like one year from now, these two to match with a pump though. Give me a pump. I want both to be 21. That is my goals. And my right arm has been as big as uh, almost 22 with a pump before, but I want 21 as lean as I am today. These are my goals. As far as arm wrestling goes, I missed the sport. It was a lot of fun. I don't regret being in the sport. Uh, I met a lot of great people, and uh, we'll see how it feels when I heals. But when I first start coming back to the sport, I'm going to do a bodybuilding style workout. I've actually been impressed. I've been watching a lot of videos, and a guy named Nick Walker, he just won the New York Pro. Uh, he's a freaking monster, and I love the way he trains. You know, he trains with really good form, focuses on eccentric lift part of the lift he does a squeeze of the muscle no ego involved I mean, the guy's got 23 inch arms and he trains with 30 pound dumbbells so when i come back from this injury when i'm allowed to lift i'm going to take more of a nick walker approach like a bodybuilding approach style working out uh i don't know how long i do that for but i'm guessing at least a good year because so i think that's more it's less dangerous than arm wrestling style lifting and i feel it would be smart just to take it easy and not go too hard too fast, because the last thing I want to do is re-injure this thing and go through this again. I mean, is it the worst thing I've ever had in my experience in my life? I would say no. The worst thing I've ever done was I slipped a disc in my neck trying to curl 120-pound dumbbells, being foolish, and I slipped a disc, and this arm went. This arm uh, was paralyzed for a year. I couldn't use it. 
that was scarier than this. Um, it was like an arm that I had that was super weak. And it was, it was just really weird when your brain says, you can lift the weight and I won't let you lift the weight. I was lucky enough where the nerve was not touching where the disc, so I did not need surgery. I did injure the nerve, and the doctor said it'd be a year to heal, and it did. Also got a slip disc in my back, it still bothers me now my leg. I'm doing crazy 505 pound squats when I was younger, and 1400 pound leg presses. Again, Nick Walker doesn't do 120 pound curls, he does not do 505 pound squats or 1400 pound leg presses, and the guy's got legs that are about that big around. So I'm gonna see how his style of training works for me. You know, focus on the pump, get the blood flow, train smart, great form. And that's how I'm gonna come back from my injury in the moment. So, uh, you know, I don't wanna boost something else up there, but I mean, if you were into lifting weights and bodybuilding, I recommend looking at Nick Walker's videos. His style of training is very good. And uh, also, like I said before, I think nutrition is very important. I mean, I've been eating perfect. I didn't hurt myself and get depressed and have pizza and french fries and chili cheese fries and drink a bunch of beer. I don't drink any alcohol. I continue to eat healthy. I stay low carb. Only time I have my carbs really is low before I lift, a little bit after I lift. The rest of the day is mostly meats and vegetables and good fats like avocados and walnuts, things like that. After this video is made, I'm pretty excited because today's gonna be the first day. I'm doing buys and tries today. I'm gonna do some light tricep training. See how it goes, and maybe some gripper training with my forearm. There's the update. I hope this helps some people out there. So six weeks after an injury, it's not that bad, guys. Uh, it's coming back faster than I thought. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. This is going to go away. You're probably barely going to see the scar eventually. So uh, again, like I said before, it's important to stay positive. Don't get depressed. Stay focused. Uh, don't give up. Keep that body moving. Keep eating healthy. Just keep doing what you love. Have a great day. Hope this video helps somebody out there. Bye.